I'm Andrew Fitzpatrick. I'm a business development director for Brainbox AI here in Europe. Um, my background has been in the built environment for seven, eight plus years. As the Brainbox AI name implies, we provide an AI solution that really leverages deep learning, machine learning, so sophisticated AI to um, bring change to the way that buildings operate today. A central problem with buildings is that they're operationally inefficient, inherent with the equipment, inherent with the controls. We're able to take buildings that are nowadays very data heavy. Um, we think of them as tangible, immovable, static, but in fact, they are very dynamic in the way that they operate. So we're taking that dynamic behavior, the data behind it, uh, and we're marrying it up with external data that typically isn't used. So granular weather data, so not just the temperature outside, the position of the sun, the cloud coverage, the dew points. We're taking the energy tariff structure, we're taking the carbon intensity of the grid, we're taking the air quality as well, and creating an extremely powerful AI model in order to change the way that buildings behave from something that's typically reactive to something that, that's now more proactive and predictive in nature to drive those uh, energy consumption reductions and GHG emission reductions. So I think the fact that the UK and Europe by and large having an older building stock is a unique challenge to the region. What sort of new technologies can be, can be brought to those buildings? Is it a solution like ours? Is it another solution? And that's what's exciting about Innovation Zero is, is bringing those different technologies together to find solutions to the older building stock problem. I'm really, really excited to, to be a part of Innovation Zero and to have the opportunity to present in front of peers and colleagues uh, at the event who are ultimately uh, having the same mission that I do, that Brainbox AI does in terms of driving sustainable change, both in terms of kind of the net zero themes, but also sustained change over time. I also think that Innovation Zero is not only a great platform and event to showcase those innovative companies uh, and their solutions, but a great way to connect different stakeholders that will be key to driving change. I think the fact that London being the location of the first iteration of Innovation Zero is is very telling and uh, of, of the progress and the vision of London and the UK in general. I think we see it in the fact that the Prime Minister's office has endorsed this specific uh, event. We see it in the way that cities have very forward thinking, net zero targets by 2040, by 2050, and the fact that London um, as a hub uh, for tech has also become a hub for climate tech companies as well.